the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. Hey, I hope you had a great, hope you had a great week, a weekend, and I hope you're going to have a great week coming up. And I just want to continue to, we're going to continue to focus on uh, teaching the Word of God and, and making sure that we don't get into or trap into uh, the steal, kill, and destroy that the system always wants us to do, you know? Uh, we need to sit there and focus on what God wants us to do, what the Word of God has asked us to do. Because we, you know, religion has really, and, and the people have really jacked up uh, and manipulated the, the scriptures uh, and, and deceived many of us to think that we're doing the right thing by doing, thinking us to do the right thing even though we do the wrong thing. Opposing the fact is that we need to do the right thing by following what the Word of God tells us to do, to do His will. I sit there and had this um, title today because I, I will sit there instead of calling somebody, just because somebody calls us a Christian, I, I will sit there and say that the non believers based on the fruits that they bear. And the title I have a non believer is using Christianity as a cover to steal, kill, and destroy. And I think a lot of people have been manipulated to steal, kill, and destroy because of their unwillingness to just read the word of God for themselves. You are New Testament saints. You're not Old Testament saints. So you are supposed to follow Christ. And the question is, all the expectations and all the colonization and all the lynching and all the discrimination and all the hate crime and all that other stuff, are those things based on non-believers using Christianity as a cover? A non-believer is simple as this. You can profess yourself as a Christ, as a Christian, but if you're not doing the, what the Word of God says, what the Word of God, not the opinion of others, but what the Word of God says, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can call yourself a Christian all day long. But a tree is known by its fruit. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about the history. And we're going to use more history as, as well. We're going to use modern day. We even talked about the, the shooting in, in uh, Jacksonville uh, on the 26th of August. This day is the 27th. The, the 26th of August is a, a man went into, a young man too. That means he was taught. He was, he was molded to, to be able to hate people just because of the mere color of their skin. To steal, kill, and destroy and I guarantee you, I bet you if you take his, 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 uh, his when they come out with his background, I guarantee you he will call himself a Christian or been raised in a Christian family. Because I, a lot of people go to church, but they don't do the will of the Father. They don't do the will of Christ. They don't follow Christ. His commandments love one another. They don't want to be led by the Holy Spirit. They want to be led by their flesh. And we need to recognize that we just asking people, if you're not going to be a Christian, stop calling yourself a Christian. If you're not going to be a Christian, stop trying to close yourself as a Christian. And then do bad things. Because the only Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Christ comes to give life and life more abundantly. We're supposed to be ambassadors of Christ. And that's one of the things I wanted to be able to share with you on the, the, the foundational scripture for this study today is the fact that, that you are supposed to be ambassador for Christ. That's who you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be reconciling the world together, not trying to turn them apart. Not sitting there trying to, 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 to manipulate people and exploit people. Do what the Word says, amen? Look at the scripture in 2 Corinthians 5, 14. For the love of Christ constrained us because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that we die for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. 
Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after flesh, yo though we have known Christ after flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and has given us a ministry of reconciliation. And to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has given and have committed to us the word of reconciliation. That's why you can't have Christian nationalists, because that means you're trying to sit there and think that we stop somewhere. No, well, we, we're supposed to reconcile the world unto God. We're supposed to be ambassador of Christ. He said, verse 20, so now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you and Christ stand be reconciled unto God. For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteous of God in him. Those are scriptures used when we use some historical data, we're going to use some historical pictures of hate and all that other stuff that is not supposed to be in the fruits of a Christian. You're supposed to love one another, bear good fruit. Amen? Hey, I hope you enjoy the session. I will break these up in A, B, C, and D. Don't forget to subscribe if you get a chance. Leave a comment if you can. But just remember, Yeshua, Jesus is Lord, and we do what he wants us to do. Hope you enjoyed this session coming up, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go. It reminds us to do the things that we're supposed to do as believers. So look at this right here. In Matthew 6, starting verse 9, after this manner, therefore pray you, meaning you don't have to do this verbatim, but he said, I want you to start looking at the components of the Lord's Prayer to start reflecting daily on the thing that you are supposed to do as a believer. Because maybe if you do what the will of God is, then you won't sit there and do the will of man when it's come to steal, kill, and destroy. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Meaning I'm not praying to a political party. I'm not praying to a person. I'm not praying, praying to... to, to uh, ministries and, and churches or pastors or teachers or, 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 or family members or whatever. I'm not praying to them. I'm praying to God the Father. I'm praying to the creator of the heaven and earth and universe. And, and it doesn't matter about somebody else to sit there and don't believe in the Father, don't believe in heaven and earth. That, and, you know, don't believe that there's one creator, one God. That, that's that's their, well, I don't know what they, I had one person that said that, tell me another day, they said, they're God. Well, you ain't created nothing. You haven't created anything. And one of the people that sit there and go against the gospel, they're sitting there having no answers. And they're going to sit there and say, I don't need an answer. Yes, you do. Based on the history, I see a man. Based on the process of a man. And, and then one person sit there and say, well, well, no, no, it's religion's fault. Do you, 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 you know you're lying because not every atrocity is based on the uh, Christianity or based on any other religion. Some of it is just based on man just being evil talking about from communism and all those other places, those places that, that don't have faith have committed some of the greatest atrocities as well. <laughs> we need God. We, we know one of the things we had a study that says it's not good for man to be alone. We talk about the fact that it's, it's not good for man to be alone from God. <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we need him. We need a savior. We need God. Because absence of God, we are subject to do so many bad things, right? He said, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Meaning there's a world system. There's different aspects of the world system. And those, the aspect of the world system is to steal, kill, and destroy. I was, I usually went to Canada and came back, and one of the things I saw, the, the, the people there, I saw a lot, I didn't see a system 
um, 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 at least I went to Vancouver and so forth. Anyway, I didn't see a system where it, it was, we had to worry about uh, systemic racism or uh, other things. I saw a diverse group of people, all kinds of people, and they seem to have this willingness to try to get along with one another and not sit there and try to play uh, black supremacy or white supremacy or Native American supremacy or you know they they just seem to just say let's let's go on at least i didn't i didn't pick up on that that that, that area but the, the thing is that when we talk about sometimes here is the fact that you know, systemic racism and so forth is that you can it's it's, it's you can feel the potential of somebody uh, doing bad things, and, and we just saw the, the what happened uh, this week with the, in the shooting in Jacksonville, you know, or, or people who shot people in the Jewish temple uh, last year and so forth. Uh, people doing hate crimes and so forth uh, because they're driven by hate, driven by flesh, and, 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 and driven by a world system that capitalizes on bad behavior. Where here we're saying, thy kingdom come, is to look at the kingdom of God and his system, his righteousness, right? It, being in his kingdom, we live by a system that is inclusive. Some people sit there and say, no, it's not, that's, that's not true. Because if you look at the book, you read the book, look, go to the book of Revelation. What does it say? All kingdoms and nations and kindreds and people. You know, the, the other words, the Bible that we preach, the Bible that we study is a Bible of diversity. I know some of us sit there, and, and look, inequity too, right? And we, we sit there and, 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 and find ways to try to create inequity. But in reality, our Bible is about equity. It's about oneness. It's about the fact that you, most of you know what I'm saying. I mean, you, you talk about one body in Christ. If we're one body in Christ, that means that we're all one. And being one, we treat each other, love one another. Christ gave a commandment, right? He said, a new commandment I give to you in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give to you that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. And the fact is that he said that men would know, verse 35, men would know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. You can't have love one another if you want to sit there and oppress people, discriminate against people, to manipulate people, to kill people, to steal from people, huh? destroy people, their lives, their, 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 their reputations, and everything else. You can't sit there and say that the Bible teaches that to steal, kill, and destroy. No. It teaches us to have an abundant life for everyone. There's no such thing as just a certain group of people. I know people want to do that, but that's not the gospel. Amen? So that kingdom come as a system, God's system, is what we're supposed to operate in. We're supposed to be able to do the things that God wants us to do by going by his system. I'm going to keep emphasizing that because I think we lost the, the, the we lost it. We lost it so many hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I mean, it, it, being the, the, the crusade and all those things is to sit there and say it's all right to do bad things. I'm telling you, it's not all right to do bad things. His kingdom. Look at this. Thy will be done. Not man's will. Not your will. I want to do, make. I want my children to have something better than I have. I want to leave a legacy. I want to. I want them to be to have greatness. But that. You, your will does not and should never override the will of God. And see, his will is for I want all people. <laughs> I want, God wants to save the whole world. And, and, and that means that means not to sit there and exploit and use other people for the benefit of yourself or for your family. It has to be where you benefit everybody. And society is a strive when we do work together, you know? So that will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Look at that. His will, not our will, but his will be done in earth as in heaven. 
We don't become judge and executioners so that we can sit and say, I'm doing God's will. You're lying. What is his will? That's why we ask asking people to come into the gospel and read the Bible for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself. That will be done in earth as heaven. Give us this day to me that telling me is a daily prayer, daily coming before God and, 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 and daily studying the word of God so that you can do his will. And you do it daily. That means say, give us this day our daily bread. The daily bread is the word of God, saints. If you're a saint, if you ain't, that's okay. We're trying to tell you, you can be a saint <laughs> by doing the word of God. We need the word of God. And forgive us about death and we'll give us that towards. See, in this, in this kingdom, it's not about unforgiveness. It's about forgiveness toward one another. And, and the thing is that why not? What is better to live in a life? What is better to live your own life under unforgiveness, opposed to forgiveness, opposed to loving, opposed to mercy, opposed to, to grace? What, 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 why would you want to do something opposite of those things? You got to remember, your life, your eternal life is based on doing the will of the Father. Huh? So therefore, it will see in verse 4, 15, it says you have to forgive. It's not for them, it's for you. Huh? He said, and, 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 and forgive us our debts and we remember that to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So you don't want to be evil because if you be evil, then that means you are really praying that God delivers people from you. Don't be evil. You want to be delivered from evil. But if you be evil, if you do evil things, what that, that, that means you're not a believer. You, you're evil yourself. Wow, check it out. For thine, he said, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of every man. Meaning his kingdom, his power, his glory. Many of them sit there and try to get their glory instead of his glory. His glory, doing His will, glorifying Him. Not you, not your family, not your nation, your country, the point that you want to sit there and override the will of God. You know, our country, we said one nation under God. If we're one nation under God, we glorify God. We glorify the Father. 14 says, if you forgive men not their trespass, your heavenly Father will forgive you. Or, let me read again. 14 said, For if you give men their trust, then the Father will also forgive you. But 15 said, But if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So therefore, all those atrocities and all the things people said they're doing, and said, I'm doing it in the will of God, I'm doing it for, the, to, 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 for, for God's sake, and you steal, kill, and destroy. You're not doing God's will. You're not the Hebrews. You're not going to, you, you can't translate that. You will not translate that as an excuse to go and exploit people. You, you translate that as to you, you as a non-believer. You go in there and do all that stuff that you're doing, but don't sit there and try to call it the gospel. Don't sit there and try to sit there and say, I'm, I'm, we're, we're just like the children of the promised land. First of all, if you're not delivered from bondage, they were delivered from bondage. Well, what, are, what are you delivered from? To go to. Huh? Because that's a big difference, isn't it? Do not try to manipulate the scriptures. Do not try to sit there. You will not. God, be not to see. You know, the relation of the Ephesians said, be not to see God is not mocked. For what's a man so that shall he also reap. And if you don't reap it here, you reap it then. And that's the tragedy of the, of, of the situation, isn't it? When people are sitting there actually have died and they have faith in consequences. What are they going to say? I did your will, Father? No. We can't. You know you're not saying that. You know you're not saying that. You know you can't say that, right? Look at this in 1 Timothy 2, 4. Who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth? That's what Christ wants us to have. 
That's what it teaches in the gospel to come to the full knowledge of the truth. Look at this. In, in Romans 14, 12, says, So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. I, I think it's very important for people to, to, to recognize that scripture. And the fact is that you can be you can be manipulated and have been manipulated by pastors, preachers, by by ministries, uh, by family members, everything else. But and you and family members can teach people to go and do hate and everything else. But I'm gonna tell you something. That's what we just read in in, in Romans. Uh, 14, 12, so that every one of us should give an account of himself to God. You need to understand not only knowing the teaching of Christ, knowing the will of God, knowing the fact is that you as an individual will give an account of himself to God. And I know that's why that's what people don't want to believe is because they don't want to give account. They don't want to have accountability. But you know what? Regardless of whether you do it or not, the Bible says every knee shall bow, never tongue shall confess that Yeshua, his personal Lord, is Lord, huh? And the fact is that you, so you can sit there and you can, you can manipulate it, you can, you can ban books, you can try to hide the history, you can try to rewrite the history, but it does, you need to make sure that everybody that you love know that they will have to give an account themselves to God. Teach that. Teach that to your child, to your children, to your loved ones, that you would give an account of yourself to God and how you taught them. If you taught people to hate everything else, you're going to give an account of that. Think about it, people. <laughs> let's, let's, look, the good news is that you can repent anytime. <laughs> and, and, and why lead your children to... To, to be bad, you know, like that shooting that happened in Jacksonville other day. Teaching a child to hate and not thinking that maybe some of them are gonna, gonna actually do the bad things that, that you've been teaching them. And you will give an account for that. You will give an account for that. I, I just hope you know that. All of us will give an account of ourselves into God. And the bad thing about it is our history has caused some people to turn away from the gospel. And we're the ones that are responsible because we didn't show them the gospel. We didn't teach them the gospel. We didn't teach that when, when the expectations of other countries and, and, the, and it wasn't taught. And we're gonna be accountable for that. We lied. And I'm talking we because I'm saying is that people use our faith, our belief system to do bad things and they're doing it even today. Uh, one time I'm going to sit there and address the uh, Christian nationalism. Christian nationalism, if you <laughs> are doing the doctrine of Christ, if it, Christian nationalism is about preaching the gospel and living the gospel, bearing good fruit, then go ahead, I, I'm with you on that. But if Christian nationalism is to hate, to steal, kill, and destroy, then you can be a nationalist all you want. Our ministry is a world ministry for one thing. And our ministry is to preach the gospel. That's the will of God. If you do that, you're great. But if you're teaching uh, exploitation, if you're teaching really to, to discriminate, if you, you're teaching to, 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 to exploit people because they're not a Christian, if you're teaching to do bad things, then you're not a Christian nationalist, you're a nationalist whatever nation or whatever concept that you think you're doing but as a christian and if you're a christian nationalist then you that means that everything that involves christianity 
is to love one another. If you don't have that, you're not a, you not you can call yourself a Christian national as well, but I'm going to tell you something. Our faith is to love one another. It's not, it's not anything else. You're not going to, it's his will. If you're a Christian national and doing his will, then you're going to bear good fruit. But if you're a Christian asshole where you find that as a justification to do bad things, to manipulate people, to hurt other people, to suppress other people, you're not doing God's will. So don't sit there and call that Christian nationalist. Don't, I don't know what I said, I don't know what I said, take Christianity off of it. Because if you're doing Christianity, it is a gospel, it is a movement, it is a way Christ taught to love one another, to have mercy and grace toward one another. If you're not, so I'm just saying this, you can do whatever you think you want to do, but don't choose Christianity. Stop, take, take, off, the, take off the sheep clothing and just be who you are. You have a right to be who you are. And whatever when then you and whatever seeds you sow, you're gonna find out, you're gonna pay for it. Because most empires and everything else have paid for the prices and will pay for the prices. Either now or <laughs> when they go before God. Amen. I, I think that hey everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed that session. I hope you stick around and listen to the other session. We're trying to bring them out daily. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we'll send it, and send it out to the people on my distribution list on the, te on the uh, text. But the rest of you, will we'll, we'll see it on YouTube as well as uh, Facebook. Uh, but take a look at this study. Chew on it. Yes, we have a history. We, as believers, but we call ourselves believers. And there's people who pretend to be believers who have done some very bad things and manipulate a lot of people. A lot of people didn't know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, some of the slides there before all the way go back to the first century uh, CE of, of being a, a militaristic type of organization. And, and, and all that stuff has been passed on from generation to generation. And, and the sad thing about it, most believers, you don't read the scriptures. You listen to somebody else and, and you sit there and make your decision based on what somebody else is saying instead of reading the scripture for yourself. I'm encouraging you, read the New Testament. You're most, if you call yourself a Christian, you need to read the New Testament to see what Christ taught you. You, could, you want to be conforming to the image of his son, God's son, Christ. Amen. You, that's what the scriptures say. Let's read the scriptures. Let's stop sitting there and let other people tell us what the scriptures say. And then we are doing bad things. And we know we're doing bad things. We know we're doing the steal, the kill, and destroy. We know that. So why don't we learn to do what the Father taught us to do through Christ? Let us learn to be led by the Holy Spirit. That's what the, this session is all about. It's, it's, it's not about banning or hiding history. It's about repenting. And that's what we can do. We can repent. We can let our light shine. And I, and I encourage us, all of us, to do that. Let our light shine. Let us do the thing that is acceptable to the will of the Father. Let's do the Lord's Prayer every day so we can remind ourselves of doing His will and not our own will. Amen? God loves you. He really does. And it doesn't whether you're a believer or not a believer. He wants you to be reconciled to Him. Not to people. Not the ministries, but to him. And that's all I encourage you to do too. Reconcile yourself to God. Get that spirituality of being who he wants you to be instead of what the world wants you to be. Stop being manipulated. And stop understanding the truth. For the truth will make you free. The truth will set you free. The truth matters. You know we see in our news media, everything else lies. We saw the Sudan killing in, in Jacksonville. Once again, a senseless killing based on what they was told. And, and, and the person killed himself. Even the scripture is like, well, what, what are you doing? Now that person now has to go before God. We'll go, just like all the rest of us as well. 
And I just hope he don't sit there and say he's looking for his advocate when he never knew his advocate. He only knew him. And then he died. Let's not be the same way, okay? All right. God bless you. Uh, I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this segment. And the encouragement is to continue to study. Read the Word of God. Read the New Testament for yourself. And let Christ be the example. It is all about love. It's all about mercy. It's all about grace. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.